Another BMW which has been causing a stir on social media is this fantastic 2002 and we're here with the owner George so he can talk us through this wonderful car. Um, hi George, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. How are you doing? You all right? Good, good. Busy. So tell me about this beast. It's just, it's one of those things I walk, I kind of saw it on social media, people taking pictures and today's the first time I've seen it in person and yeah. it doesn't disappoint. It's, it's really I appreciate cool. it. I appreciate you guys coming by. This is a 1973 BMW 2002. Mm -hmm. It's been widened quite a bit. So the wide arch kit, is that custom? It's not this something is, that's off the yeah, shelf? This, no, this is nothing is from the shelf okay. from this car. <laughs> uh, this is the whole whole body uh, kit is made out of uh, steel, yep. uh, the, from the diffuser to the wide flares to the side the extenders to the front uh, spoiler, everything is from metal, mm -hmm. is one off. The so the body kit itself, where was it inspired from? Obviously because there is a lot of Actually, 2002 wide bodies. Yes, so. yes uh, I didn't want to go that route because yeah. a lot of people have done it yeah. and uh, this car was built for SEMA. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wanted to actually make something different, yes. something that would stand out. And um, actually, the inspiration was taken uh, from uh, Kaiser, from uh, one of his renderings. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, there's a theme running through Sima about cars he's either inspired or he's designed. Yes, and yes, we talked to him yesterday about his E30. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes, nice. Yeah, and uh, he, actually, I used one of his renders, okay. and uh, I start with that, and uh, we make it reality. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so how so does that feel to see something that you saw in a render which is completely made up and now you're standing in the beginning beside it? in the beginning i didn't uh, really because i was so busy trying yeah. to get it finished for sima but uh now that the car is here and uh people actually approaching me and uh, talking to me and taking pictures and i see all this crowd around the car i feel that yeah it's now i it's accomplished real. something <laughs> yeah. it's real right so no, it's a good feeling. Um, it came uh, along uh, pretty quick, pretty well. Uh, it took about 10 months to, 10 months. to actually put it in stage. Okay, that's so, not bad considering. Yeah, so did you start was, from a shell? Was it a running car? How? No, it was, uh, it was really rough. Really it was really cool. rough. But uh, the whole inside, the, what it was kept was the outer shell. Okay. The whole inside from front to back was cut off. Mm -hmm. It has a custom tube chassis in order to actually be safe and to actually handle the actually power that we plan on putting on the ground. Let's talk about the power. It's quite obvious from the front of the car, this is not an engine that is normally seen in this car. No, so this, this is an S55 from an M3, M4, yes, which normally correct, runs about correct. 430 horsepower. Correct. Uh, so, this is from my M4, a 2017 M4. Uh, it's a single turbo, custom uh, intake manifold, uh, port injection, it has some internals done. We're planning, you know, to be around the 800 horsepower mark. Oh, okay. So we wanted to make sure that it will be safe to actually yeah. drive the car and, you know, and not worry about it, you know sure. what I mean? And uh, so you've got the tire to handle that power. How wide is that tire? <laughs> this uh, back wheels are 12 inch wide. Yeah. We're running uh, Toyos R888Rs. Yeah. Uh, on a BBS center lock wheel. Okay. This is a E55 rim center lock. Uh, we wanted to actually keep the old style yeah. rim yeah, with yeah, this yeah. car. I didn't want to put something too modern. You know, I wanted to actually, you know, keep no, you it keep it classic. Right? Yeah, I think it suits the car perfectly. Yeah, it was a custom billet uh, CNC uh, uh, adapters for the center lock yeah. made. Uh, a lot of billet stuff made for this car, one off. So, so suspension and brakes, what are you running in terms uh, of those? Brakes are six pistons in the front, four pistons in the back. Um, it's from Ford's uh, Motorsport, yeah. it's another sponsor of ours. Okay. Really good product, uh, really happy. We needed something that would look good and perform good, and that's the company that we went with. Okay. We're really happy with the product, BBS obviously, Perfect uh, product, really good. JRP is uh, one of our main other sponsors that supplied a lot of the actual products. Uh, Recaro seats. Yeah, the interior is really nice. So obviously the whole interior has been done. So you got Recaro seats. And the one thing which like takes a little bit to get used to is the is the modern steering wheel inside the yes, <laughs> inside yes. the old cabin. Actually, the steering wheel is uh, M Performance steering wheel yeah. from BMW. Uh, Parkview BMW actually uh, was a big help in this build. Mm -hmm. I work for Parkview BMW. Um, 
That steering wheel is a performance steering wheel from BMW. It's for my M4 okay. as well. It's a full Alcantara. So is that the M4 dash as well that you've got? No, there? actually that dash is a custom made dash okay. from uh, Dakota Digital. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's an updated version. I wanted to actually look kind of analog, but it has uh, modern capabilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dakota Digital is able to do that. Okay. So. Cool. So going forward, obviously you've built the car now. Now the aim is to get more power out of the engine, and uh, the aim is actually to drive it, to drive it, drive it to shows. Yeah. I like to drive my cars. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a show car, yeah. uh, but uh, I like to drive it yeah. too as well, right? So I want to get in, start it up, and go for a cruise and cool. enjoy well, you it. You put in the hard work, so you know exactly. Yeah, like you don't I don't want to show it to be exactly you get behind the enjoy wheel. It enjoy it too, right? Yeah. So because you know, putting all the hard work is good, is fine, but. You know, just have it in a corner and collect dust. I don't. No, I, don't I don't see the reason. One, I don't see the reason doing that. Cool. So. Okay. Thank you very much. What we'll do is put your uh, Instagram tag in so people can follow the no project. Problem. But thank you've you. created a real beauty here, and thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for your time. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you guys have any other cars you want us to cover at SEMA, please let us know. If you'd like to watch more SEMA videos, you can click over here. If you want to watch anything that YouTube suggests you might like, you can click over here.